So we are back to the screen HXE host 39030 and here we'll go to web ID. This is our main tool and here you have to give the password XSA underscore admin. This is your default user ID you can use and this is the password which we had set earlier while configuring the system. So I am just adding that and at times it may take some time to load this. So you have to have some patience. So once you log in, uh, you will see this workspace here and this is the pop up window you get every time. If you don't want it, you can just say don't show up on startup. Basically, it shows simple tips and tricks and you can see more of these. So I will close this for timing. So here you see we have this panel here. There is a development section and there is a database section database explorer where we connect to database and there's the setting section. Here is the workspace left panel where you will see all your folders and uh, object which you will be creating. So here we'll be creating a lot of things you will see in future lectures. And here are some icons for search or show or hide hidden files, things like that, which we'll see when we get to it. Uh, these are the save option, this back and forth option. So these are the option and this panel here, you will do all your development work, all the mapping, all the object alignment, everything you will do here. You will see a lot of it throughout this course. So you will understand how it works. And uh, here we have database explorer. First time when you click on this, there is no database connected, so you can connect it. You say yes, and this multi tenant. So you go here and say it is multi tenant, and I say HXC host is default, and you can see a default instance as 90. And here you can write system and the default password again. And you can change this display name. If you wanted something different, you can choose whatever text you like and say OK. So this is how it gets connected here. Uh, you can see this database got connected and you can uh, remove it also and again connect it back. OK, we'll see the use in data stages once we start working. Here we have settings. These are some personal preference which you can set. For example, if you want to have some preference on code check, uh, whether you should check when there is a change and things like that. And there's code editor. You can increase the size of your font, code font, and there are other options as well. Uh, you can choose as per your preference. I'm not choosing anything here. There are more options and there are keyboard shortcuts. So you can change them as well. If you think uh, you prefer any other shortcut, you can use that as well. And similarly for SQL console also, you have option of size and various other things. You can check them out as per your preference. Here in extensions, we have a lot of extensions available, uh, SAP as well as non-SAP. So if it is needed, you can just add them. And there are options under modeler as well. Uh, we'll see this option later in the course as well. Coming back to this, here we have toolbar, menu bar, where we have a lot of options. You can check them out and we'll be using whenever it is required. On the right side, we have this panel where you can do advanced search, where you can search for things throughout your uh, project or folders or workspaces. We'll see this as well in later stages. And here you have a Git pan. This for your local grid as well as remote. We'll have a separate lecture on Git. And here you can see Git history. Here you can see outline. You will see the usage in our course as well. This is for debugging. This is to check test results. This is the console. You will see all the logs generating here. Here this problem. Here you will see warning messages or error messages and things like that. Here you get the console and here you see what resource your project is connected to. So we'll see all these options and we'll start creating the projects from here. Uh, next section onwards. So let's go there and start creating the projects. Thank you.